Right, airport officials say that most RNC attendees will be flying in for the event, and as staff here get ready to welcome the delegates, they've also got tips for locals who are trying to escape the RNC rush. Touching down at Milwaukee Mitchell International Airport during the RNC will look a little different. Banners, flags, and other signage welcoming delegates, media, and lobbyists. Harold Mester with Mitchell Airport says they're prepared for the influx of people. We're expecting the RNC to be similar to a busy spring break period. Mester says they're expecting around 11,000 passengers flying into their airport for the convention. On a typical day, Mitchell Airport sees eight to 9,000 people come through. Waukesha County's airport. Just kind of preparing for an all or nothing type of approach. Airport manager Kurt Stanich says he's expecting a boost in passengers on private planes. And he's coordinating with officials at Mitchell Airport and as far away as Madison and Grand Rapids, Michigan, ahead of the convention. Trump's airplane has landed here, correct? Mm -hmm. Are there any big names that you know of that you can talk about? I don't know of any big names that are coming in. For those trying to get out of the area during the convention, officials say avoid traveling July 14th and 19th to dodge the RNC rush. So especially for anyone who's traveling on that day, Friday the 19th, make sure you get to the airport early, especially if you're traveling in the morning. Emily, some major airlines are actually adding flights into Milwaukee during the convention. United has added flights from Washington, D.C. American has added flights coming in from New York. Now, the planes themselves will also be bigger to account for the increase in passengers.